Hey, it's Al Man, and welcome back. Uh, hopefully, the audio is a little bit better. Hopefully, you can find it. And also, I'll be linking the playlist in the description and in the comments. If you want to see the rest of the video, you can easily access it down there. Leave a like on the video if you like it too. But anyway, it was now, the middle of June. We're back. With summer well underway, a rainy spell seemed to hang over Trista. With our field study wrapped up, the other members of Class 7 and I returned to normal school life. But just when we thought we'd gotten used to the challenging lessons and the a moment of dread washed over us, making our blood run cold. Wow. That's, that's not great, but okay. As you all know, tomorrow uh -oh. marks the start of your midterm exams. Whoa. Oh, no. I'm no good with all these papers and essays and circling answers, so I won't really be able to help you much. But I'm administering some of your tests, so I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. Sometimes I lie awake at night and wonder how you became our teacher. As I recall, aren't you in danger of a lecture by the vice principal if our performance isn't up to par? Oh, I'm not too worried about that. Most of you tend to get pretty high grades anyway. I can hardly wait to see how well you all do. Remember, the results will be announced next Wednesday. Your scores will be posted on the board by rank, so you can see how you compare to the other classes in your year. Oh, the sooner this week is over, the better. I can almost taste the tedium. I'm not gonna let Emma squeak by me again this time. <laughs> oh, one more thing. They're gonna stick the average score for each class up there on the board, too. Our class averages? I suppose their intent is to furnish us with motivation in the form of class bragging rights. Well, I do enjoy a challenge. Anyway, I know it's only noonish, but I think that's enough homeroom for today. You guys can stay here and study, or just head on back to your dorms. Prez, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. Stand, bow. Man. So they gotta take a test out here, and I don't exactly remember how this goes. Um, like, if you guys played the Persona series, the Persona series they do the test. They kind of do an actual test. I don't know if this game will actually do that, but whatever. We gotta be getting close then if we get into the midterms. Anyway, they got all these study. Look at this. Look at all these mandatory study events right here. So let's go fast some of these students and start studying. Um, okay, they in the second floor. While we in the school, let's go find those guys. Where they at? There they go. Put this on turbo mode. Okay, so these guys got to study. Otherwise, they doomed. Like, with no studying, they doomed. Like, they can't make it without studying. Look at this. I don't know the answers, man. Headquarters, like you said. Armored troop as a circle? Sure. Engineer some three lines? Okay. Cool. Okay, so we're getting Gaius all the way up, so that's good. All right, so we got five more. They count as two. Okay. Oh, I see how they're counting it. Why would I want to study with that guy? Okay, so let's go to the student union. Let's study with them. Where they at? Here they go. Yeah, let's study with them. Even though I probably don't need to study with my teammates because my teammates probably good. Okay, well not her. Apparently she needed a little bit more ranking up in there. But yeah, this is this ain't so bad. Why did they count as like a point? Oh, no, I was at six. Okay, so I should have enough points to study with everybody, to be honest. So since I'm in a school union, let's go ahead and find uh, Toa, is it? This should be the place right here. All right. So I don't know why I'm studying with, like, senior members. But I guess they got their midterm, too, so I guess it makes sense. Like, like they need to study, too. But I don't know what a underclassman going to help them with, like... Like, unless I'm in the grades with them, but it looked like I'm not. I, I really don't know how their school exactly works. Like, we might be in the grades with them, or we might not be, so I don't, I don't really know. But anyway, let's get up out of here. All right, so now we, uh, where are we? The gymnasium. Let's go to the gymnasium. Okay, where y'all at? 
Okay, say so y'all in the training room. Y'all upstairs? Yeah, they upstairs in the gymnasium. There they go. I found them. I found them. Found them at last. Studying, huh? Studying is for the week. And uh, <laughs> I'm messing. No, no, it's good to study while you're in there. It's always good to study while you had opportunity. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and get to the... Uh, Get to the engineering building. Let's go talk to him. Oh, him and George? They had George picture up there. Why George picture is not up there? Like, he sure do got an explanation point on him, but his picture is nowhere to be found. I don't know how we gonna study with this guy. This guy don't look like he studies. He look like he just sits there, man. But he studies allegedly. So, allegedly, he studies. All right, so now let's find these guys at the library. And let's go study with these jokers. Where they at? There they go. They right in the library. Did I say no to them? Oh, okay. Well, let's not say no. So, I guess Ring going around studying with only certain people in the school. Like, don't we have other people in, like that are freshmen and they are in, like, a common class or a noble class and we don't really study with them, I guess. It's weird. But that's enough studying now. Excuse me. We got umbrellas. Uh oh, we got maids. Oh no. I do apologize for stopping you on a rainy day like this. Do you know if this is the building in which I might find the principal's office? Oh, yeah, you're in the right place. The receptionist might have gone home already, but I can show you the way if you'd like. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness, but I couldn't possibly trouble you more than I have already. I'll be able to find the way, I'm sure. Well, then, if you'll excuse me, Master Reen. Why did this person just call him Master? That's how they get you. That's funny. Hmm. Wait a minute. How does she know who I am? Reen? Okay, you walking too slow in the rain. There's a turbo mode. Hey there, Elisa. Heading back to the dorm? Yep. I'm and the others are staying a little longer to cram a little more. But I figured I'm not going to learn much more today, so I might as well call it a night and start prepping for tomorrow. I figure I'm not going to learn much more today. Right, right. Um, well, you're going my way, so what do you say we head back together? Sure, okay. What is their way? They go to the dorm together, I guess. I, I don't know where they came from. Thought we just came out hey, of the dorm. It's not often the two of us get to walk back to the dorms together, is it? <laughs> well, eh, at least I got something good out of this downpour. Uh oh. Is there even a filter between your brain and your mouth? Nah, no need for that between friends. But you're in good company. My sisters asked me that before too. <sighs> she must be a saint to have put up with you all these years. <laughs> anyway. How do you feel? All prepped and ready for our exams? Not sure. I gave it the best I've got. Still, I've got that nagging feeling I could have hit the books a little harder. <laughs> I wish I was as smart as you. Back when we took the entrance exam, only Emma and Machia scored higher than you, right? Eustace came in a little higher than me, too. Back home, I usually came in near the top in exams. I guess that goes to show that Erebonia has no shortage of smart people. No doubt about that. Bookworms pour in here from all corners of the empire. You said you're from Ruhr, right? Coming out on top in a city that size is still pretty impressive. I suppose, though that was just at the Sunday school level. Um, uh, aren't you curious about, you know, my family and stuff? So she's the fourth smartest student? Where am I? Number seven, eight? <laughs> it's nine students, right? You mean the mysterious Alisa R, agent of national intrigue? Well, yeah, of course I am. But you probably have good reasons for keeping it under wraps, so I don't want to pry. You've been nosy the whole time. It's not that major or anything, especially compared to what you and Fee have told us about yourselves. I've never really thought my family circumstances were a big deal. Though Fee's past sure came as a surprise. I wonder now, when I look at her, what her life in the Jaeger Corps must have been like. It seems like Instructor Sarah knows more about her past than we do. 
back yeah. to the entrance ceremony, I got the impression they'd met before. Same. Oh, speaking of weird meetings, I ran into someone kind of strange earlier. Oh? Yeah, I was talking to her just before you called to me. A maid who knew your name? This isn't the part where it turns out she knows you because you've tried to hit on her in town before, is it? Uh-oh. <laughs> As if an upstanding guy like me could pull off the Casanova act. She seemed a couple years older than us. Maybe 20 or so? A maid in her early 20s. Hmm? Something wrong? No, no, just thinking. There's no way it could really have been her. Mother keeps her far too busy to find the time to come here. Uh, Ahem. Uh, anyway, maybe the uh, upper class dorm has a new hire starting out or something? Did he hear that? Though that wouldn't explain how she knew your name. Maybe you're just more popular than you let on. <laughs> if only. If only I was popular. I just got an umbrella and I'm in the rain. So, are we skipping the schoolhouse this time? Or how that's going to go? I forgot. Like, it's been a while since I beat this game. Oh, midterms day one, I guess we. Oh, man. The glasses teacher. Uh-oh. They really gonna do this to me. I don't know the answers. You know what? Let me pull up a guide real quick. Uh, game facts pulled right up. So we got July 9.52. All right, that'd be day one right there. Uh-oh, we got another teacher. We got the uh, blonde teacher. All right, sketch says it's the answer. Option one. Cool. All right, we're going to pass all of this. We got the internet out here. So that's day one of the midterms. So for day two, let's go ahead and get that right. Uh-oh, we got the uh, that dude. That dude, like, he about to try to get us. All right, so what's the answer for here? Armor. That's the symbol for armor. According to game FAQs, that's the symbol to honor. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't remember these answers. I'm out here game FAQ with it. So day three of the midterms. On a Friday. All right, we got the blue hair teacher. All right, what we got here? Uh, allowed arts usage with quartz. That's there we go. Light bulb go off on our head. Ah man, the magic of game FAQs. Uh oh, this teacher with a twirly mustache. Is he one of the Imperial Guards that keep getting us in trouble? Our Imperial Public Transportation Act. What that said. Here we go. Imperial Public Transportation Act is a go. All right, we're doing good so far. Saturday? We got midterms on a Saturday? Wow. Oh, from our teacher. Okay. Okay, so we got B, D, A to C. Let's go. Light bulb on our head. All right, that should, that should hold us over now. Hopefully, that's the last midterm we got from this game. Ah, the magic of game FAQs. All right, they ain't talking. Turbo mode. They got music like this. They funny out here. We jamming in a funny type of way. Dumb. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. bum. Oh, dumb, dumb, the exams dumb. are over. I feel free as a bird. Free as a bird. And they'll keep on soaring, at least until the results come back. <laughs> I sympathize, but personally, I've got a good feeling about these. How about you, Emma? How do you think you did? Well, I don't think I did too badly, all things considered. Mm -hmm. Just, just stop before you embarrass yourself. We'll just have to wait <laughs> and see what next week's results look like. Anyway, what do you think that was all about with Instructor Sarah? Oh, you mean that whole thing about going out of town to meet someone? Going out of town? Won't be back until tomorrow night? It's almost as if... She's going to meet her secret lover? Uh oh Impossible. 
The Empire hasn't yet turned out a man desperate enough to woo that alcoholic typhoon. Wow. That's some real stuff right there. That That's funny. You have a point. I can't deny she's got the looks to snare a man, but that personality and that lifestyle. Wow. See, there's some real talk right here. That's funny. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Totally agreed, though. Ouch. Not surprised to hear that from you, though, Reen. She always seems to dump the most work on you. Will you be helping the student council again tomorrow? That's the plan. Heck, I'm almost looking forward to being the student council's errand boy after holding up studying for so long. Perhaps wow. so. Oh, please let us know if you plan on exploring the old schoolhouse. Yeah, I'd be glad to lend a hand this time. Thanks. Oh, we got the whole up, cast now. I might take you up on that offer. Ooh, it looks like we're all up for a little exploration this time. Yeah, that's the first time they all can finally work together. That's good. Come to think of it, where did Gaius run off to? He mentioned the principal wanted to have a word with him. You think he went there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, where is Gaius? That was about. Actually, we're missing Laura and Fee, too. I hope he hasn't gotten into trouble. I mean, I doubt he would. I have no idea. Fee and Laura left early, too. I was kind of hoping we could all walk back to the dorm together for once. That sounds nice. Hmm. Hmm? Hey, so this might just be my imagination, but... My imagination? Move my silhouette over. I don't know why I'm so far to the edge. Do right. those two seem kind of awkward around each other to anyone else? That might be your imagination. R really? So you think so too. What? Seems like it started around the beginning of the month. I wonder if something happened then. It's what like is coming from? Avoiding each other ever since. Mm -hmm. You say that, but I did not take either as the type to dwell on petty issues or misunderstandings. Neither did I. We've been trying to suss out what the problem between them is, but so far, no luck. I wonder if that's what that was all about. Did you see something, Machius? What happened? Hmm. Well. Us. Do you remember the day we gave our group reports on what happened during last month's field study? We gave a truthful account, including the part where Fee used an explosive to blast open the door to my cell. Yeah? That's when we found out that Fee used to be in a Jaeger Corps. That really threw me for a loop, but what does that have to do with Laura? Well, when that came up, I couldn't help but notice Laura had a rather unpleasant expression. Mm. It flashed across her face for only a moment, though, so I wondered if I had just imagined it. Interesting. But even if we assume that's true, hmm. what reason would she have to be upset? Don't like the Jaegers. I can hardly hazard a guess. We all have certain things we'd rather keep to ourselves. We even have a member of this very class who remains tight-lipped about her own family, after all. <laughs> Do you really have to drag me into this? My apologies. I meant no offense. I do have my suspicions as to your lineage, however. Really? <laughs> Ugh, you. Now, now. Getting angry won't accomplish anything. Don't worry. We're not going to twist your arm into telling us. When you're ready to talk about it, we'll be ready to listen. Uh, it's not like I'm trying to make a big deal out of it or anything. It's just, if everyone knew, it didn't make things awkward between us, and I don't want that. Welcome back, my lady. Uh oh. <laughs> well, that go to awkwardness. It's already happening. What? Sharon? It's so delightful to see you again. Oh, hey. It's that maid I ran into the other day. You know her? Here. She did it. Mother didn't. <laughs> but of course, I was sent here at the behest of the chairman herself. Starting today, I will be assuming the position of caretaker for Class 7's dormitory. The class got a maid now? What's going on here? Sharon Krieger? Kr it's Krieger? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, everyone. My name is Sharon Kruger. Oh, that's hilarious. I am a servant in the employ of the Reinford household. Lady Elisa's family. What? Whatever. Anyway, this is this is funny. I will do all I can to be of service to you. So please keep me informed of anything you might need. 
whatever. Hopefully the audio is doing good in this video. But we working on it. We working on the behind the scenes. We're trying to get this stuff going and smooth. Okay, so chapter three is starting. Beyond the railways, they call it. So what are those? Are those like in between the chapters? A little bit of, a little bit of nothing before the chapter. I don't know. Pre chapters? Is that what we've been doing? A pre chapter? Maybe we don't gotta do the practical exam because we took the midterm. That'll be cool. Whoa! They got some bogus looking food, but I guess it looks okay. I don't know. It's kind of bogus to me. Simply spectacular. Just how many different types of food are there here? This looks more than edible. I believe this is what they call an imperial breakfast. I'm gonna have to go get me some. That's food, right, so. Emma. It's a traditional Arabonian style of breakfast. I must apologize. It's taken me some time to familiarize myself with this kitchen, so my cooking has been a bit lackluster. Lackluster cooking. Come now, Sharon. Your skill is something to be praised. This is far more colorful and varied than the breakfast served in my own home. I would compare this spread favorably with the breakfast served in the Duke's household. The Duke's. <laughs> I'm honored that you think so. I've also brewed both tea and coffee if anyone would like some. Hmm. Some food. I get the feeling Elisa is less than impressed with the meal. It sounds like they had a big argument yesterday. Not a chance! They had a big argument. I thought I'd finally, finally gotten away from her. I'm not going to let her have her way this time. My lady, please. I truly don't believe the chairman sent me to keep an eye on you like that. She simply sent me so that her beloved daughter might have fewer inconveniences in her daily life. I can take perfectly good care of myself. Thank you very much. Oh, fine. I'll take this up with her myself then. Is she in the office at corporate today? Or is she out on inspection or something? I believe she'll be dining with the Ministry of Railways president in the capital today. After that, she'll be continuing her inspection tour. So she won't be back in Ruhr for another five days. Does she ever slow down? I'm surprised she doesn't burn through a pair of shoes a week. Anyway, I'm not going to take this lying down. She stuck her nose into things one too many times. Is her hair going through her? How, how her hair going through her that outfit? Actually how that work? And from the sound of it, her mother's the company chairman, too. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that Elisa's mom is basically in charge of the continent's biggest industrial company. Her family's probably got more money than most of the aristocracy. I can see why she'd want to keep her family under wraps, what with all the nobles here. Anyway, I object to everything about this. Considering how busy Mother is, I'm sure she needs your assistance far more than I do. <laughs> I knew it. You're really concerned about her, aren't you? The way you two care so much for each other deep down is one of the reasons I'm so proud to serve you. Th that's preposterous. Oh, my lady, I almost forgot to mention that I made plenty of your favorite apricot jam. Would you like me to spread some on your toast? Ooh, really? That's funny. I mean, stop treating me like a child. Though, yes, I would like some jam. Hmm. It's almost heartwarming to watch. <laughs> Looks like Sharon's got her number. You mad at me? I'm gonna put some uh, jam on the toast. That's funny. Uh oh, the assignments. The assignments have been assigned, and these two are required. So those will be the ones we do. 
that sad quest one and never mind that sad quest one because we missed some of the sad quests anyway there's hidden side quests in this game like that's the crazy thing okay we got a bunch of these bonding events too so let's let's take care of those i guess General store. Wait, where's? Oh, okay. okay. Let's keep turbo mode on. So, as per tradition, we're making up the bonding events. So, they're looking at the plushie, and Laura's thinking to herself, with a giant sword, I must cut the plushie in half, and then they shall never reign supreme ever again. They will be defeated. Defeated. So, that's probably what's going on here. I think. I don't know. Who knows, right? Who can really say? Anyway, um, who else is the option? Okay, so it's a bunch of characters, but uh, I don't know if I care about all these characters. I can't go to the gardening shop? Okay, let's go to the park and head to the gardening shop. Like, we should be able to, right? Like, this is the gardening shop, right? Maybe. Oh, you right in front of the garden shop. All right, cool. So let's get that going. So in this one, they told me that these flowers and plants were like good, but they look pathetic to me. And I don't even know why people like flowers to begin with. They look colorful and random. So I guess she probably, oh, she's probably planting some flowers. I don't understand flowers. So planting them will help me understand to appreciate them. <laughs> That's my take on that. Anyway, let's go ahead and, uh, okay, so now we're on this side. Okay, cool. So they up in the school. So in the student council where the deers and the antelopes play. Let's head all the way to, well, this might be anywhere. No, that's, that's you. That's you. Okay, so I guess she's on the other side of this place then, right? Right up here. All right. No, you're not here. Where are you? Said you was in this school. I don't believe it. Oh, okay. I was in the wrong floor. Student council is right. No, it's not here. No more. Is it here? Okay, here we go. You look like one of the NPCs, though. Can barely tell if this character is a character. So, I don't know if these characters are maxed out on their bonding events or... Oh, this is the student council meeting. Yeah, so they, they bonding event is a meeting. And I guess Reen is part of the student council to some degree, right? It was he just an honorary member of the student council. Like, he don't count, right? Like, he the class 7 version of it, right? Okay, nothing really happened there. All right, you know what? Forget it. Anyway, let's go to the engineering building so we can get a move on with this. Like, Machias and the rest of them, they just gonna have to... Whatever. <laughs> like, I did all these bonding events before, so it's, it's not like one of those things where... Come on, guys. Let me ride the motorcycle. There we go. Rain on the motorcycle now. This is my motorcycle. I've taken it. And there's nothing you... I better take turbo mode off. There's nothing you guys can do about it to stop me either. Now that I have this motorcycle, I shall reign free. I shall reign over all of the students. And I will be the final boss of the game. That would be funny too. But no, that's not the case. All right, so we on the motorcycle now. It's time for us to achieve our destiny. The long-awaited motorcycle drive. Uh-oh. Um, that motorcycle going. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Have no clue. I guess that was the right choice.
They just sent him on a motorcycle. This is like odd. This is very odd. And now what you want me to do? I don't know. Who knows? Like, who really knows? I guess I did it perfectly. I don't really know. Like, I don't know what they want from me here. Turbo mode. That's what I want. Turbo mode. Uh oh. I just pressed anything. Whoops. I messed that up towards the end. I got tired of the minigame and just pressed something fast. Oh well. I messed that up towards the end. Most likely, like, it don't work no more. Oh well. Give me my reward, guys. I think I broke that motorcycle. Give me my reward. Even though I broke the motorcycle. I still deserve to get something. All right, cool. Uh oh, we still we still gotta do it. Wait, what do we got doing in the engineering club again? Cause I still see the. Okay, it went away finally. Old schoolhouse time. Let's do it. New. No, let's finish this. All right, so this dungeon shouldn't. I mean, these dungeons should never really take us too long because uh, we're overpowered still. Uh oh, what's that? Okay, so we pick we pick some people. Uh, you, you. I don't like you. You, you. Eh. Eh. You. All right. So we got our teams. Yes. All right, so we got them. Now it's time for us to defeat all of the enemies. Oh, wait, let, let's get uh, you off for now. Yeah. All right. Let's go defeat the enemies. Okay, so we should be on the third uh, chamber of the, uh, of the schoolhouse, right? We're on the third chamber. So let us get to the third. Go to four number three. We on the third chamber. Cool. And now we know we shall be victorious. We have made it to the third final valley. In the mysterious, I, I just don't understand the schoolhouse. Like I've been trying to figure out the schoolhouse for years. All right, let's get started. Years after playing this game, and I never understood it. And it's it's so frustrating. Like I just. I just don't understand the schoolhouse. It makes no sense to me. Like, that enemy makes no sense to me, too. Okay, here's this. What is this? Oh, no. Alright, so we got... We got this. Whatever this means. Okay, how we get out of here again? Okay. Okay, so area 2 and area 3 is like... We gotta do something to get over there. So let's, treasure chest. let's get this treasure chest. We got the holy something. Alright, let's see. Uh, okay, this is not the route. Not the route. Ooh, this looks like a good spot. Good spot for what? Okay, maybe I can hit this. And now we got these. Hmm. Where are we going? That'll get us right back to area two, it says. Oh, no, no, this is where we gotta go. Yeah, this is right. Here we go. This is getting us to the right spot. Right? So now we should be able to go here. There Looks we go. Looks like we've still got a ways to go. We still got a ways to go. Oh, man. You sound like uh, the Prince of Tennis main character. Still got a ways to go. 
Wait, can I just go forward and then go over? Uh, it's a treasure chest. Oh, I can't. It's funny that I can't, but okay. That tricked me a little bit. Right, so where can I go then? How do I activate the thingy? Mm -hmm. Okay, is it this way? To victory. I don't want to fight you. Alright, let's go here. Okay, we got this maze, man. This maze is amazing. It's an amazing maze. Amazing maze. Okay, so we got to get... Oh, man, this maze is confusing. Okay, so that's back to area one somehow. That's funny that that can lead back there. Okay, let's hit this. Okay, now where we going? Where we going? Okay, allegedly there would be nowhere. But creepy stuff happened to nowhere. What's this? A boss. A lot of y'all suckers. All right, Ring, let's do this Gale thing. Get him. It's my turn. Get him. Get him. Okay, I should probably link these people. All right, link. There we go. You link. All right, cool. They did it. All right, anyway, they're gone. Uh, let's see now. What do we got now? So this is not the right thing. Then, because we just can't go anywhere. Okay, so let's let's figure this out. Okay, so this is back to the regular place, the regular land. This gets us, wait a minute. Oh, this is where we gotta go, right here. Huh. This is the end. This is it, okay. Didn't know what was going on there. Okay, let's fight this boss. Whoa, that boss looked like a, like an actual boss. Here we Stay go. on your toes. Stay on my toes. Skip these guys, motivate. Right. I motivate you guys to be better. Motivate you to attack these guys. Okay, they ain't gone, man. And I motivate you to miss. Oh, man. I'm barrier. Give them more turns. You can do a special. Get the special out. Okay, so they gone. And you can beat this guy. All right, cool. They gone. Let's keep moving. These enemies cannot deal with our awesome might. We're overpowered. All right, cool. So those guys have been defeated. Let's continue on. Let's go ahead and this should transport us back to the start, right? Yeah, to stop. Where it all began. All right, here comes the thing. That's gonna get us to the out of the here. Or not walk away. Let's get to the return to the surface. So we're doing pretty good. Um, I know the next place we're gonna be going to is uh, the, the next field story should be coming up now. Like, we basically did our dungeons. Uh, yeah, we ended the investigation. We did our dungeon and everything, and yeah, we did our thing out here. Like, you do feel like it's a hard day's work, though, when you do this uh, dungeon out here. Um, not on my profile, because uh, I done beat this game, like, ten times, I guess. I beat it so many times. I can't tell you how many times I beat this game. I, I've been beating this game, like, nonstop. Okay, I don't care about the events. All right, anyway, let's go here. Enter the dorm. Oh, Reen. Uh oh, y'all still catching me. Teachers catching me. Oh, hey there, instructor. Well, the building's still standing, so I guess you all behaved yourselves. It looks like you've really thrown yourself into helping out the student council, Reen. But you spend all your time working, and life will just pass you by before you know it. Alas, if only my evil stepteacher would stop dumping a bunch of work on me and let me go to the ball. Hey, did something happen? 
You look really beat. Nothing bad. Just been real busy these last couple days. That Toval really needs to learn how to treat a lady. What? Honestly, dumping that much work on me? Come on, I'm too delicate for that. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess your hot date didn't turn out so well then? Huh? it did as if a night with me could fall short of unforgettable he was just amazing such a gentleman so strong so passionate <sighs> sound like a fib but i'm afraid all the details might be more than you could handle it's too soon to corrupt your poor innocent heart yeah i almost want to believe it but yeah i don't think so <laughs> everything okay last night then Nothing major happened while I was away? Not particularly. Oh, wait. Actually, we had a woman show up claiming to be the dorm's new caretaker. Did you know about this? Oh, she's here already? And did you know about this? I'd heard that the Reinford family was sending a maid, but I wasn't sure when she'd arrive. Something sure smells good, though. Oh, I'll bet that's Sharon fixing dinner. She's a great cook. She made breakfast for us today, too. Oh, I can hardly wait. This class seven gig has some real fringe benefits. <laughs> how did you get their teacher job? Like how? I'll have what? to get her to whip up some snacks to go with my beer later. What is going on here? <laughs> Looks like she knew about Elisa's family after all. Welcome back, Master Bean, Lady Sarah. Oh, hey, Sharon. Good to see you. You can stop with the. I would imagine the teacher knows about everybody's backstory. It's not like I'm the one paying your salary. Oh, but that just wouldn't do at all. Politeness toward those I serve is part of the maid's code of honor. <laughs> or might you prefer something more like my dearest Reen? Whoa, not in front of the teacher. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Sharon. I was sent here to serve you, courtesy of the Reinford family. I will do my utmost to cater to your every need. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. Though if you don't mind my saying, you look a little familiar. Are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? Huh? I'm afraid we haven't. You certainly don't seem to be an individual one would easily forget. I look forward to serving you, Lady Sarah Valestine. Why, thank you, Sharon Kruger. What? This feels like a good time to make my exit. <laughs> hmm? This looks like... So it's like a good time to make an exit. I shall escape into the night. Please don't worry about me. Well, I still have much to learn before I feel like I deserve my status among the nobility. I've been blessed with wonderful friends, and I'm enjoying life here at the Academy. I often feel more concerned for how you're faring in your own studies. Thor's Military Academy is well known for its connections to Emperor Dreykel's and its strenuous curriculum. And I worry that the dangers you face in your training could catch even you by surprise someday. I pray you don't neglect your own well-being. The world has many soldiers, but you're my only brother. <laughs> you never change, do you, Elise? Though I guess it's probably me who hasn't changed much. should write back to her and to mom and dad for that matter Misty here filling your speakers with wit and charm once again 
I'm coming to you live from Radio Trista, and it's 9 p.m. on this calm June 20th evening. Let's kick off this week's Oven Time. The weather around the capital has sure been wet lately, but not very wild. I thought that rain would never let up. Thanks to that, I ended up holed up in my room, even on my precious days off. Still, the end of June's just around the corner, which means summer festivals are in full swing across Erebonia. Man, it's almost finished English. The festival out in the port city of Ordis is known for the breathtaking sight of hundreds of bonfires. That radio just keep talking to. In the old capital of St. Ark, they know how to party hard with a festival that keeps going for five nights straight. Unfortunately, I've never been able to get out to either of them. I'm hoping to make it up to myself by taking the train to some far-off destination on my next vacation. Now, where would be the perfect place for this wayward traveler to visit? I'd love to visit Crossbell. Exploring its theme park and seeing one of Arkansas's theatrical performances would be great. But the thought of just riding to the end of the line and taking in the rustic beauty of the Nord Highlands is just so tempting. I know, Director, I know. Ah, uh, is it too much to ask to let a girl dream big? So I think they were referencing the, uh, uh, the other game, the Zero game, because Tales of Zero happens at the same time as Tales of Cold Steel. So they're happening at the same time, which is weird, actually. This game doesn't happen after. It happens during it. It's, I don't know why they did that. <laughs> uh oh, the, the test. Okay, what's this? Uh, VV, Rex, and Becky. What? Why are they names hiding there? Okay, uh, Mint is 70. Oh, fee number 72. Man, fee. Okay, Casper and Paula. Okay, Colette, Allen, Monk, Keneth. Elliot, number 36. I'm only a number 35. What? I thought I got everything right. Why am I just above Elliot? What? What's going on here? Oh, didn't do as bad as I was afraid I would. Here they go, Gaius. And there's uh, Laura. How did I do just a little bit above Elliot? I shouldn't have cared about that test at all then. And there go Emma, uh, Machias, Eusis. And I can't believe Emma and Machias tied for the top score. Congrats, Machias. You always put up some impressive numbers. And there go Alicia's last name, uh, Rainford. But what's Ga Gaius Wardzel and Lore S. Arsade? Machias Regnus, Eusis Alborea, and Emma Milstein. Okay. <laughs> Looks like you made good on your word after all. I suppose. Emma's the real natural, though. Oh, and not at all. We both just really hit those books this last month. She modestly tied with him for the top place. How does that happen? I'm glad everyone did so well. Agreed. I scored higher this last time than I did on the entrance exam. I suppose I'll have to settle for third this time. <laughs> you make it look easy, Eusis. Looks like you and I managed some pretty respectable scores too, Reen. Yeah, we'll be nipping at Machias and Emma's heels before you know it. If we study like madmen. I can't help but feel that I could have done better if I put a little more effort in. What effort could we put in? We put got all the answers right. I feel right. a bit left out. <laughs> you did really well, Fee. You must have had all the basics down pretty well to have scored like you did. If you can build on that in the next exam, I have no doubt. She younger than everybody and beat like a bunch of them. If I feel like it. By the way, there's something posted up over there. Oh, wow. It seems class seven had the highest average score. Excellent. I figure that might be the case considering we have the Academy's top three high scorers. 
You talk as if a class I'm a member of could possibly fail to place first. Why do you always have to be so full of yourself? Boys, boys. I think we should be proud of what we've accomplished. Me too. Good work, everyone. Hip, hip, hooray. So she failed the test, but they, they got number one. How humiliating. How could the pride of the Empire's nobility lose to those plebeians? And Elisa, thinking she could hide her roots that easily. They seem mad. They seem really mad. And we got AP plus one. They look really, oh, we are doing a practical exam. I thought the midterms like can outrule that. But I guess not. Happens anyway. Well, aren't you all the overachievers? I'll cherish that grumpy look on the vice principal's face forever. That'll teach him to poke his nose into my business. We didn't do all that work just so you could stick it to him, you know. Besides, you bring most of it on yourself. Ugh. Always tromping around like he owns the place with that smarmy mustache of his. It's one thing to gripe about work, but where does he get off telling me what to wear and how to behave in a bar? Now he keeps telling me I need to hurry up and get married. Yeah, I'll marry my foot to your face, jackass. That's kind of funny. <clears throat> anyway... Is everyone ready to leap boldly into this month's practical exam? No way. I'm fully prepared, instructor. Hmm. I can take whatever task you have to throw at us. Ah, <sighs> well, at least this ought to be easier than the midterms. <laughs> oh, a, a grunt. Grunt number one is here. here. Again. This one looks different from the others. The grunt looks different. It's a purple grunt. Hold on. You noticed too, huh? Yeah. Color's different. Shape's different. Yet it seems similar somehow. The material. That's what's similar. Maybe. I is something wrong? No. Here they go again. <laughs> Well, doesn't this look like fun? Vexen is here from Kingdom Hearts. Vexen has returned. Class one. What are they doing here? They walking in unison too. They walking slow, slow rollers. To what do we owe the pleasure of this visit? Class one's combat training isn't until tomorrow. Oh, Instructor Thomas's class was changed to a self-study period today. So we thought it was the perfect opportunity for a little... <sighs> class 7 seems to be the talk of the school lately. And we'd simply love the chance to get a little better acquainted. Self-study. Exchange? Judging by that rapier in your hand, I'm guessing you're not here to exchange pleasantries over tea and cookies. My, you're a sharp one, Schwarzer. Nothing gets by you. Why not try your steel against some real human opponents instead of that contraption over there? We'd be more than happy to serve as representatives of Class 1. Allow us, if you will, to demonstrate the refined spirit and dignity of the Erebonian nobility. Ah. <laughs> you little pieces of... Cool your jets. They're just trying to goad us into a fight. We gotta beat these suckers. All right, let's get them out I'd of the be way. I'm very interested to witness this refined spirit and dignity you profess. Well, looks like I found today's entertainment. <laughs> All right, change of plans. Today's practical exam will be a friendly training bout between classes one and seven. The fight will be four on four with both arts and item use allowed. Green. You'll be squad captain, so choose three of your classmates for your team. Roger that. I know Machias want to fight them. If 
I remember correctly, you can't pick the girls or something. Let's see. Because I remember them not letting us do that. I just like the notion of fighting against women. It's a man's duty to protect the fragile flowers of womanhood, not to wound them. Reconsider your team. And this time, bring men to face us. Who the hell does he think he is? I'll put a fragile flower on his grave. Now, now, Fee. Guess this isn't going to happen until I do as he insists. among the ranks of class one to begin with. I would rather hope a son of House Alborea would need no demonstration of the nobility's refined spirit and dignity. Man, he just won't let us Choose start. again. <laughs> this is fun. One would almost think you're trying to postpone the inevitable. It looks like fighting someone from another of the four great houses might be biting off more than he can chew. It's funny that they, uh... That way, it makes me wonder who they won't conjure up some excuse for. This is funny how they're doing this. So they don't count more as no. Oh, that's funny. So they don't count her as. Let me see here. <clears throat> Hold it right there. <laughs> I've reconsidered. Okay. Mm, it sounds like the upper class students know that Laura really won't hold back. They probably realize she'd mop the floor with the child. That's funny. Okay, so we. Man. We just gotta put Elliot out here. They just making us use Gaius. No, anything but Gaius. Looks like you're all both teams. Take all right, let's team. deal with them. Let's take these suckers down. Don't make us use Gaius. Come on here. He may be a fool, but even a fool can be dangerous with a blade in hand. And I'm sure his lackeys are well trained, whatever his deficiencies lackeys. they may have otherwise. Make sure you don't underestimate them. Got it. Well, he is a member of the fencing club, after all. <laughs> we'll see how cocksure he feels when we're through with him. Let's have a good fight, everyone. Representatives from classes one and seven. Let's beat the rich kids. Combatants, weapons at the ready. Begin. <laughs> I'll show you what real nobility is. Go. Alright, let's do this! This is a performance just for you! Kind of special is that? This is absurd! It's my turn! This is absurd. Oh my goodness. That looks strong. I go where the wind takes me. I don't know when he got this S craft, but that looks strong. Whatever. I guess everybody got everything with me because I, you know. <laughs> Enough. The winning team is. The victory is ours. Yeah, we showed them. We got them. Not bad. A passable performance. <sighs> Only passable. <sighs> we got them. Fight. We did it. We won. We won. How does it taste Whoa. choking down your own hubris? <laughs> this can't be happening. How could we lose to this, this rabble? <sighs> rabble. How could we lose to this rabble? Rabble, rabble, rabble. Hey, that was a good fight. Pretty intense, too. You had us on the defensive more than a few times. This rabble. If we get another chance... Get your filthy hands off me! Don't 
rabble. Dare start acting like you're above me, Reem Schwarzer. Just because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood. <laughs> you son of a... Uh, th that was uncalled for. The rest of you are no better. Did you somehow think scoring highest on the exams would mask the fact that you crawled up from the dregs of society? What if you run? A family of upstart arms peddlers who think being flush with money is all the pedigree they need. And what of the barbarian and your Jaeger tots? I'm surprised they could even read the enrollment forms. Who's the barbarian? What the hell? I won't deny how the Reinfern Company made its millions. Am I the Jaeger tot? They want to say something else. What terrible things to say. Patrick? I think you might have crossed the line. Silence! You don't tell me what I can and can't say. How utterly foul. Enough of this. I'm not sure I understand. Maybe you can clear things up. What is it about nobles that makes them superior to those who aren't? <sighs> Gaius? I won't deny that I'm not from this country. That's as plain as the nose on my face. Back in my homeland, we don't really have anything like your class system. So the concept is pretty foreign to me. Really, I mean no offense by asking. But I want to know what it is that elevates nobles above the rest of the people. The superiority of nobles is self-evident. We come from families of distinguished lineage built on generations of tradition. That gives us a dignity, refinement, and pride that those of common birth could never hope to possess. We represent the pinnacle of man's achievement. That is what makes us nobles. Hmm, I see. I've witnessed that dignity and refinement myself. I see it in how Laura and Eusis carry themselves. But that leads me to another question. I can understand the importance of tradition, lineage, dignity, pride. I get why those would matter. But where do you think they let you get off saying the kinds of things you did? Well, I... I... Gaius. Hmm. Patrick, I... I... I really think you should... Gaius raises an excellent question. I'd say this marks the end of our mock battle. Many thanks to the members of Class 1 for their gracious cooperation. Oh, and just for future reference, self-study doesn't mean wander around outside doing whatever you want. That goes for you two over there, too. Back to the classroom with you. Yes, instructor! They're just watching. Please excuse us. They funny for watching. I've decided that for your combat training tomorrow, I'll be pointing out everything you did wrong today. I'll be giving you the full, shameful play-by-play, -play, of course. But I want you to really think about where you need to improve. <sighs> Very well. Excuse us. Patrick! W -w wait for us! Oh, for a while there, I was worried that was really gonna get ugly. As far as I'm concerned, it already had. This is exactly why I can't stand nobles. Please, don't place me in the same category as that imbecile. Thanks, Gaius. That meant a lot to me. Huh? Not sure why you're thanking me. But whatever I did, I'm glad to have helped. Wow. Okay, that concludes. Next, I'll be giving you the locations. Oh, yes, it almost slipped my mind. Where to this month? Everyone, take one of these. Hmm. Okay, so we got Reen, Alicia, Emma, Eusis, and Gaius. Okay. Rionia Island. That's in the far west of the Empire, isn't it? Indeed. It's an island off the coast of La Mer Province, known for its ruins. However... The North Highlands are beyond the Empire's northeastern borders, are they not? That's right. They're out past Ruwer on the other side of the border. Since the Age of Antiquity, the Highlands have been home to a tribe of nomads. Yeah, 
Yeah, now that you mention it. You're from the Nord Highlands, aren't you, Gaius? Sure am. We've actually made arrangements for everyone in Group A to stay at my home in our settlement. I hope you'll all enjoy yourselves. Sure am. <laughs> Your ring's gone out. That's probably why that teacher had to talk to him. Academy. <laughs> well done. Field study day. Okay, we're probably gonna call the video here because the Nord Highlands is gonna Still, take a while. I couldn't believe it when I saw Nord Highlands written right next to our names. I wasn't ever expecting our field studies to take us that far out. Well, it does make sense, since it's an important place in the history of the Academy's founder, Emperor Dracos. Indeed, the Highlands are where he first began to solidify his military power during the War of the Lions. That's about the extent of my knowledge of the Highlands. I could try it, but I just don't know if I'll be able to finish it. No worries. I'll tell you more about Nord on the way there. Anyway, I hope you're all ready for a long trip. Uh-oh. The train ride between here and there is over eight hours. Eight hours? That's almost an entire day's journey. It is. That's that a long time, The guys. experience will be more than worth the trouble, though. By the time we get there, it'll probably be evening already. You think we should go stock up on some snacks before we leave? You know, I can get through the Nord Highlands, though. <laughs> There'll be no need for that, Lady Elisa. Oh. Mm. Good morning, Sharon. We're almost ready to head out to the station. Oh, of course. To the station. I would also be very pleased if you would accept this. What is it? I took the liberty of preparing some sandwiches for all of you, as well as a pot of lemon tea for each group. I'm afraid I wasn't able to fix a proper breakfast. So I hope you'll enjoy these on the train instead. <laughs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Such a thoughtful caretaker. We'd be more than happy to accept. Oh, think nothing of it. Any... Oops, I skipped. Well, well, everyone sure loves you, don't they? I guess my objecting to you being here just made you work that much harder to cozy up to everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I would never dream of such a thing. Please have a safe and pleasant journey, my lady. Wow. I'll be counting the hours until your return. I'm counting the hours. Fine, fine, I'm leaving. Hold on. You aren't plotting anything else, are you? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Yeah, if you say so. All right, we're leaving for real this time. <laughs> have a safe journey. <laughs> Please excuse us. The dormitory's in your hands while we're away. Ain't nothing gonna happen to it. Oh, looks like Group A just took off then. Good morning, Lady Sarah. Would it have been too much to see them off if you were awake this whole time? Their field study begins the moment they wake up on the day of their departure. So since I'm responsible for grading their performance, I figured it was best to leave them to their own devices. I see. You make a valid point. <laughs> just one question for you. When will you be returning? Ah, oh, you truly are perceptive, Lady Sarah. <laughs> I suppose there is no reason not to tell you. I will be returning before my lady and her classmates do. That's as much as I can tell you. I see. That's funny. All right, so I'm probably going to go ahead and save because I don't want this episode to be vastly super, super long at all. And... This is a test for the audio, so if you made it this far, let me know in the comments if the audio was doing you right, and you should be able to navigate through the everything by the description and everything, so let me know how that works and goes. Anyway, um, this was like a little bit more of a mellow one for uh, the RPGs. We'll try to keep these like calm and everything. For the fighting action games, you know, be over the top. But for these, we're going to keep it mellow. Anyway, um, take care, and I hope this video right. found you well, and see you in the next one. Take care.